It's the world. I'm in P world. The secret Carrie doesn't want you to know yet. But here's the thing. Y'all know Carrie's my favorite, so I need to know what uh, they're speculating about, man. Right the I'm intrigued. Where's they try to swap the jerseys and this damn dude right here just look at him. Grope thing, bro. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> Yo, Fuck. Kyrie, what's the big deal? There will be plenty more opportunities to swap jerseys years down the line. It's not like you're D-Wade acting like you're about to retire or something. Wait a minute. Oh man. My boy ain't retiring, bro. Now, I know people such as Stephen A. Smith recently suggested that Kyrie should just go ahead and retire. But what if I told you that there might actually be some solid evidence to back it up that he might just go ahead and do that very soon? So I know what you're thinking. It's not really that unusual to want to swap jerseys with someone after the game. But for the most part, you just see a pair of brothers doing it. Or maybe if you're lucky, you come across an absolute legend that you just can't pass up. No, a lot of people do this. Going out of your way to swap jerseys with just about anyone, that's something you would only see from a player who's on the verge of retiring. Is it just not true? Carmelo and Melo did it. You know what I mean? Niggas do it all the time. Or are we onto something here? This light bulb popped in my head after I watched the Nets and Clippers game that literally just took place. And at the end, I couldn't help but notice that Kyrie really wanted to get his hands on Kawhi Leonard's jersey, practically begging him to hand it over before he made his way to the locker room. So I Did he get it? Asked, why does Kyrie have so much urgency when it comes to this whole jersey swap thing? Well, if you think about it, Kyrie does have a history of wanting to emulate... Did he get Kawhi's jersey? Because I would want that shit too, bro. Because he's the greatest NBA player out right now. Mamba mentality that he says he loved so much about Kobe. And now, is it possible that he's trying to do what Dwayne Wade did before he retired? By making sure he gets a jersey from a member of every team in the league before the season is over? I mean, it does make sense if you look at it that way. I don't know about you guys, but to me, I always get this impression that Kyrie has some sort of agenda behind everything he does. As of lately, it seems like he has more interests outside of basketball that he would like to pursue. Okay, don't get me wrong. He is balling this season and very mm. much looks like he has his head in the game when he's on the court. But could it be that maybe there's a method to his madness? You see, by playing out of his mind day in and day out, he's desperately trying to put he and his team in the best possible position to win it all this year because only he knows that it's his last. In other Damn. Words, he would want nothing more than to go out with a bang by calling it quits while he's on top. Just like David Robinson did after he won the championship. The perfect fairy tale ending. But what if he doesn't win the title this year? Well, he does already have a ring crossed off the list just in case he falls short. So no worries there. Now, you're not alone. I also thought the idea of him retiring early was just flat out crazy. Why would anyone pass up on hundreds of millions of dollars that is potentially still to be made? There's just no way I was going to believe that. Until I heard this. One of my best friends, he has told me that he really thinks that I may become the Lauren Hill of the league. Do you understand what I'm saying? That? See, if somebody told him that and he acts on that, that's butt, bro. He shouldn't act on that shit, bro. Come on, Kyrie. If y'all don't know, Lauren Hill had a, a very great music career going on. Early, very young, you know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, put out like one album for real, for real. And it was like one of the greatest albums, you know, from a female artist. Check it out if you haven't. But she left the game super early, you know what I mean? On some Barry Sanders shit, bro. Like just, you know what I mean? Never dropped another album, bro. You know, the fame and shit didn't really want to do too much to do with that, yo. So, early before shit. Right. I even, Alex, well, the Barry Sanders. before I even get to the Barry player, Sanders. The Barry Sanders. Right. My prime. You've mentioned this before. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if it's before or after. How old are you? 25? I'm 25. 25. So by the time I get to 10 years in the league, I'll be 21. And would you look at that? Uh oh. Kyrie is 28 years old right now at the time of this video. But his birthday is March 23rd. Now that's which this is month. Literally next month. And what will he be turning? 29. So by the time I get to 10 years in the league, I'll be 21. 
and he obviously knows this, so why not just try to collect Shit, as this much might be a good little conspiracy. As possible. It looks like everything is falling into place to shock the world. Oh, you're asking what about KD? Why would he just dip out on him like that? Well, that's why they went and got James Harden, so Durant wouldn't just be left high and dry. Remember, Kyrie is a completely different animal. He has it all planned out, so you better prepare for some stunning news to drop this upcoming offseason. Once again, this is just a theory. I could be totally wrong when it's all said and done. I mean, after all, Kyrie is unpredictable. But I think we just connected the dots, if you ask me. All right, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What y'all think, Kyrie? Is he, uh, planning his escape route? Get the ring real quick for the Nets and then be gone? I can see it happening, bro. You know, I, I think he's stepping into the spiritual realm a lot more. And, you know, want to tap into his inner. And I respect that. And, you know, you can't really... Uh, get to the core of your shit, you know, being uh, distracted by the media and the fucking famous shit going on. So I can see that happening, man. We just going to have to see, though, man. What y'all think, yo? Until next time, bitch. The world.